this video, we will demonstrate key components and their location on the Constellation Vision System. We will also cover the functions of the touchscreen, which is an integral part of the system. The front display and touchscreen is a 17-inch display that tilts and extends forward to allow easy positioning during setup and surgery. The front display is the user's main source of system control, allowing fingertip command of system functions through the enhanced graphical user interface. The pneumatic and electrical output connectors are located on the front panel to the left of the fluidics module, which houses the cassette. There are two vertical columns of output connectors, which allow connections for handpieces, probes, and components of surgical system packs. The left column output connectors are for connecting electrical handpieces. The right column connectors are for pneumatic probes and other pack components. The fluidics module is located in the center of the front panel. This module allows for fast and easy insertion of the cassette, which contains the fluidic connections required for surgery. To improve setup and ease of use, the system utilizes LED illumination rings surrounding each front panel output connector. The illuminating rings turn blue when the operator selects a surgical function or handpiece on the touchscreen that has a related connection port. When the surgical device is properly connected, the system changes the LED ring to green. Primary illumination is provided by two independently controlled ports located on the front panel to the right of the fluidics module. The light output is based on xenon arc lamp technology with preset default levels. The embedded 532 nanometer pure point laser module is located on the left side of the base unit. An additional xenon illuminator is located on the right side of the base unit. The foot switch allows for surge and control of parameters on the Constellation Vision System. The foot switch consists of a treadle, left and right horizontal and vertical switches, and left and right heel switches. The treadle is used to provide control of parameters such as vacuum, irrigation, vitrectomy cut speed, or ultrasonic power. The other buttons on the pedal can be programmed to each specific surgeon, procedure, or facility. These buttons are used to control functions such as fluid air exchange, reflux, mode selection, diathermy, alternative infusion settings for tamponade, and other surgeon-selected functions. The foot switch storage compartment is located at the bottom of the base unit. When the foot switch is not in use or the system is being moved, please use this compartment to store and protect the foot switch. The foot switch connector is located at the top of the storage compartment. The articulating tray arm is used for setting up a sterile field in preparation for surgery. It allows the user to set up directly in front of the machine and then move the sterile field to a more desired location for surgery. Now to the back of the system. The barcode reader and stationary bottle hanger are located at the top of the Constellation Vision System. These two items are interchangeable, allowing the user to position them according to their preference. The barcode reader allows the user to quickly scan a pack or related consumable at any time before or during the case. The DVD player and recorder allows Alcon software upgrades to the system. It also allows for upload and download of surgical settings and parameters. The Constellation Vision System also contains external connectors. This module, located in the middle of the rear panel, contains various connectors and outlets used for electrical interconnections. Each port is labeled for the appropriate connecting device. These include connections for USB, video overlay, video in and out, VGA out, service Ethernet, tethered laser, and audio input. This is the main power switch, and this is the standby button. The main power switch will power up and down the machine completely, while the standby button will power down the machine but leave electricity running to the machine. The standby button is what you will use to boot up the computer processor at the start of each day. Located just left of the main power switch, is the Illuminator Module Eject button. This button is used by Alcon Service for Illuminator maintenance and bulb exchange. 
The compressed air connector is located on the right-hand side of the rear panel. The system requires the use of nitrogen or compressed air, which must be connected to the unit before operation. The operational range is 58 to 120 PSI. However, a minimum optimal setting is 81 PSI, and most facilities set it to 100 PSI. The rear panel connections for the embedded PurePoint laser are located on the right side of the base unit and provide connections for the laser foot switch, remote interlock, and other accessories. There are three separate positions on the wheels, locked, straight, and free rotation. Push or pull the unit only by the handles and never from the display screen or tray arm. There is an accessory drawer located in the middle of the base unit to allow for storage of miscellaneous items. At the bottom of the base unit is a location for connecting and storing SF6 and C3F8 gas canisters. These enable the use of the auto gas fill feature, which allows for a single person sterile purge and fill of intraocular gases. Only Constellation system specific canisters are to be used on this system. The remote control is a wireless handheld battery operated device that uses infrared light to communicate with the Constellation system. Each of the different keys on the remote control unit has its own unique key code that is transmitted to the Constellation system console. The remote will allow adjustment of global values, screen and icon navigation, and parameter controls. Some items on the Constellation system are not accessible with this remote control. The remote can be configured to one of four channels. However, the Constellation system must be set to the same channel as the remote. This allows for multiple machines to be used within the same vicinity independently. This completes the overview of the Constellation Vision System.